So before I go really into the topic, how many of you, show me your hands, how many of you would eat this lovely food you see right here? All right, looks pretty good, looks like the food you saw outside. This food was taken out of a dumpster. It's real food taken out of a dumpster. Why is that? When we know that people are starving every single day, we throw away one third of our food, one third of our food. We also know that food waste is connected to other problems. You, you heard Jordan say that I deeply passionately care about water. Well, 70% of water, when by the way, only 1% of the Earth's surface of water is actually usable, 70% of that 1% goes towards crop irrigation. So if you're throwing away food, you're throwing away water. We also know that this food that ends up in a landfill, and by the way, food waste is the single largest contributor to solid waste in a landfill. It creates 33% of the greenhouse gas emissions that exist today, 33%. So you've wasted water. You now have created an issue with the climate. And as we can see today, yesterday was 100 degrees, today it's freezing and cold. So whether you believe or not, there's something happening. We know that there's a real issue that's taking place. We also know that this is solvable. It's solvable. I mean, look at this. So how many of you would take your bank accounts and throw away one third of your money? Yeah, no one's gonna raise your hand, right? Well, yeah, maybe some of you might know. I don't think so. Well, think about what's happening in business. So I really love the connection to business as well. This, in, just in the United States alone, $12 billion are lost every single year. That's flushing money right down the toilet. Simply because the stores have a new truck delivery coming in of new food and they throw away that other food you just saw. Simply because we never finish our plates, right? We throw away food when we go to a restaurant. And so these are big problems and it's connected to water, to climate, it's also connected to what I think is really important and that's creating a value. So let me say what I mean by that before I close. Will I am who was here last night, who's a huge XPRIZE supporter. I've gotten to know him because he deeply cares about recycling. He coined a phrase that I love to use. Waste is only waste if you waste it, right? Waste is only waste if you waste it. Today in the New York Times, there was an article about putting value on food on food waste. So if you monetize food waste and you use it to compost, use it for biofuels, then you're actually doing something productive with it. And then you're starting to eliminate the amount that goes into those landfills. At the same time, on the other side, if you stop wasting food and stop throwing it away, it takes the pressure off of the need for that water for those crops to be irrigated. It takes the pressure off of those greenhouse gas emissions. So clearly I'm not here to solve the problem. I think this would be a really great X prize for the best thinkers in the world to come together and say, how do we start to reduce food waste? Because we know that if we eliminate 50% of food waste alone, we can feed our populations. And then how do you actually monetize food waste? So when there is waste, it turns into value. So thank you, that's it.